Things have been incredibly hard lately. These days, mom is having more and more trouble even just drinking water without choking or even opening her mouth just to take her insure shakes. And I know she's trying and I can see it. She's trying to open her mouth, she's trying to swallow, she's trying her best to do what she can. But two weeks ago, she had her first case of aspiration pneumonia-like symptoms. And though thankfully she improved and recovered, these days, she's quite literally fighting for her life every single day. And that's just the thing about my mom. No matter what, she's always going to fight until the end. As long as I can remember, mom was always fighting for us especially for me and for our family. When we first came to the States, I remember mom fought hard to learn English. Teaching herself to read and to write and be able to communicate in a new country, carrying around her Chinese English dictionary wherever she went. Because she couldn't drive yet, she'd often take my brother and I out on the city bus, pushing my brother in his stroller with me in tow, consulting that dictionary whenever she needed to figure out what something meant working so hard just to get me to school on time or to pick me up or to take us out to get groceries. And so I still remember what a big change it was when mom fought to get her driver's license for the very first time. I remember her studying the DMV booklet in preparation for the written test. We would go over all the laws and practice while dad was driving us around. Later, when she was taking the driving test, I remember she had to put pillows behind her between her and the seat because she's only 4'10 and she couldn't reach the pedals. After she got her license, our family got a gray Ford Aerostar van, which she drove, and she would always have that pillow behind her to help her reach the pedals. I remember some of my favorite memories were when she would come pick me up from school driving that gray van, and she would have my dog Minnie in the back waiting for me. It would just make me so happy to see that trusty gray van roll up and see my mom and then see my baby puppy after a hard day at school. It was right around that time that my parents were serving at a small house church. There was a change in leadership with some people moving and so they needed somebody to volunteer to serve in that capacity so the ministry could continue. My parents volunteered to move and actually run the ministry. But because they couldn't actually afford the house, it seemed like all the plans would stop right there. But a benefactor at the church stepped forward and offered to pay for the house, requiring only that my parents be the ones to live there and run it so that the ministry could continue. And so because of that, following my sixth grade graduation, my parents picked up our family and moved us. And my brother and I were forced to start at a brand new school at a brand new district where we knew nobody. That transition was really awkward and really difficult for me, and I had a difficult time making friends. Being forced to leave behind all the friends that I knew and I was close to, I just had such a hard time fitting in. And so it was during that time that mom fought hard for me to try to help me feel included and to fit in. Even buying a football to practice playing catch with me at home so I could go to school and be confident to play with the guys during lunch. Eventually, things did seem to get better. I started making friends and my parents continued to serve, opening up our home once a month as the home church. To this day, I still don't exactly know what happened, but eventually, the benefactor's relationship with us changed. I remember one day just out of the blue, mom told me that he wanted us to leave. It was devastating to hear. It seemed like my brother and I had just gotten settled in, and it was the middle of the year not an opportune time for us to be changing schools. And mom understood that. And I remember it was at that moment that she again stood up and fought for us, approaching the benefactor and begging him to let us stay until at least the end of the school year, and at which point then we would move out. I remember it was such a big deal when he agreed to those terms, as it gave us some time to prepare and to move out and not have it interfere with our schooling. And again, it was always mom out there fighting for us like this putting our needs first before anything else. This fighting spirit is what I saw and continue to see when mom first got sick and as her dementia continues to progress. As her mind was beginning to slip, she would always still try so hard to fight for us and to make sure that we were cared for. Even when she was barely able to feed herself, I remember once she rushed out after me while I was trying to leave, not realizing her shoes weren't even on, just to tell me that she had left food on the table for me. 
Another time, mistakenly thinking that Grandma had left the house because she couldn't find her, Mom left the house and took off running down the street, hoping to find Grandma to make sure that she was okay. Running full speed, she ended up falling and hitting her face on the ground and had to go to the ER. And it was just like that in everything. As she was losing her capabilities and faculties one by one, all mom could ever think of was us and all she could ever do was fight as hard as she could with whatever she had left. Like her last time driving, trying to take herself to the doctor because none of us were available to take her. She ended up crashing into a parked car and all she could do was continuously apologize to me for making a mistake. Or when she would try to clean Bubba's litter box and spend 20 minutes doing it because she couldn't figure out how to scoop anymore. In all these ways, despite the illness, mom never stopped fighting and she continues to fight today. And as she fights to eat and fights to drink and fights to breathe, we will continue to fight alongside her as a family as she's always done for us. And just like how she never gave up on us back then, even though it is impossibly hard these days, we won't give up on her now.